Okay, part six, video six. This finishes us off for analytical geometry. Last example, let's see what we got. Oh, there's a picture drawn for us already. Oh, I don't know, am I excited or not excited? Because I love drawing the pictures too. Okay, so let's have a look. Diagram shows the circle, x plus y squared, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do before anything else. I mean, yes, I should read the question to see if this will be worthwhile or not. But I think it's gonna be worthwhile to put this in center radius form so that we can find out what the coordinates of C are. They don't give it to us. Why don't we just work out what it is? So x minus 3 squared minus 9 plus y squared equals, oh, there was a plus t over here, plus t equals 0. And see the previous part, I can't remember which part it was, where we completed the square. Okay, so y plus 2y, so plus 1 minus 1. So therefore, x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals, well, we've got minus 10, so we've got t plus 10. Okay, so we know that our center is at 3 minus 1. There aren't any axes to clog up our diagram, just we can fill in the coordinates and not have to worry about them. Okay, so there's C, which means we can work out the distance PC quite easily, right? Um, also, we know that the radius here, well, the radius here is T, that's radius squared, so that must be square root of T plus 10. Okay, so anyway, what are they asking? Uh, P is minus 2, touches it at. Determine the coordinates of the center as well as the radius in terms of T. Oh, well done. See, overachieving already. If PA equals 3 root 2. Now, notice that nice habit is I'm just filling in things in the diagram as we go so we can refer to it. I've got this equation. Ordinarily, I'd leave all that working. Now, don't rub it out. I'm just doing that so we can keep everything on one page. Keep everything, but keep scribbling on the diagram. If PA equals 3 root 10, determine T. Okay, right angle triangle, Pythagoras, surely it would be useful if we had the hypotenuse, and then we can just go this squared plus this squared equals this squared. Okay, well, the hypotenuse, PCE, I'm just going to use the distance formula, which of course is just using Pythagoras anyway. And... I'm just going to go minus 2, minus 3, P minus C, 0, minus, minus 1, 0, minus, minus 1. So we can get the distance of PC. Okay, well, that's 5, that's 1, so 25, 26, root 26. I'm just going to check myself on the calculator and go, well, the square root of minus 2, minus 3, I'm very sure is minus 5, and that's going to be 25. And plus 0 minus minus 1 is 1. 1 squared definitely is 1 square root 26. Okay, so just checking myself, you could put the whole thing in your calculator. I'm a bit slow in the calculator, so I think I'm quicker working like that. Okay, so we know that this distance here is square root 26. Okay, so using our dear old equation of Pythagoras, the two, the square, sum of the square of the shorter sides is equal, I don't know, I don't know how to say it in a nice convenient sentence. All I know is that 3 root 2 squared plus the square root of t plus 10 squared equals the square root of 26 squared. And the reason I can make that statement is Pythagoras. Okay, so I am showing the squares. I know that the square roots are going to kind of cancel and all of that. I'm writing my reason because that's important. And now I'm just going to move into algebra land quite happily and say, okay, well, we do get this right for our radius. So t plus 10, yeah, that seems right. Okay, so this one square root is 9 times 2, which is 18. Because remember, this was square root 18 plus those square roots are going to work out quite nicely, equals 26. So 18 plus 10 is 28, 28, so t is minus 2. I don't know if there's a nice way of just checking that. We definitely can substitute it and make sure that this is a positive value. It wouldn't make sense 
if we were taking the square root of a negative value and negative 2 plus 10 is positive so we can just check that that makes sense um so that is the value of t fortunately they didn't ask us to find the value or the coordinates of a because that would require a lot of fun work and right now i think i'm happy that we've reached the end and exercise six will keep you going i'm sure it's a good exercise really need to just think through draw a sketch for each it's, it doesn't say anything about sketches but you have to like it's not that you have to but i would so enjoy that and perhaps i'll see you in the next section at some stage enjoy <laughs>